Now with three exposed wires, hazards galore at a popular place where kids go to have fun. Centennial Park is in disrepair and the community wants it cleaned up. Wait News reporter Annalise Arola joins us in the studio now. Annalise, what's taking so long? Taylor, we're waiting to hear back from the city of Fort Myers on these issues. This September will be two years now since Ian damaged Centennial Park and one concerned neighbor brought three main concerns to the city and to Wink News. Take a look, you can see exposed wire at a stump that was once a light pole. This line of cones here cover the light pole stumps where light fixtures once brightened the sidewalks. Porter potties now sit next to the playground because the bathrooms are still boarded up and fenced in under lock and key. Dennis Adams lives nearby and bikes through this park every day. He says not only has it been too long, these issues create safety concerns. Kids that play in the park could go over where those wires are and they're sharp and sticking up or they could run by them and hurt themselves. But in two years, why haven't they fixed all these poles? There's 15 light poles and at night there's no light over here. So it you know, can lead to additional crime or people it's not safe. We're waiting to hear from the city for about a statement, but Dennis did say he emailed the mayor and got a very nice personal call back from Mayor Anderson saying that the city is waiting on FEMA funds and will be addressing this issue at an upcoming meeting. Coming up on Week News at 5 p.m., we're hoping to have an official statement from the city of Fort Myers about these concerns at Centennial Park. In the studio, Annalise Raola, Wink News. Back to you.